Hello guys, uh, in this video we are going to see that uh, how we can uh, address the y plus value in the answers fluent by using the external links means uh, we are going to uh, get the desired uh, y plus value by input parameters by using the input parameters okay so uh, for example I am just taking the uh, flow over a circle okay so we can make a one uh, rectangle in the constraint and yeah, it's symmetry okay. like this. Now we dimensions We have to see and we have to see and we are taking a circle okay then the dimensions you can adjust the diameter so diameter I am taking as a 10 okay taking as 1 okay now, uh, as we know, for 2D simulation, we need a surface. So, going to concept surface from sketching, sketches. And in the base of the object, select the sketch which we drawn and uh, click on the apply. After that, select the surface from sketches and uh, click on the generate button. So, our geometry is closed. Let's say the surface is heavy. Now, we need to go for the mesh. I just took the uh, basic geometry for a uh, learning purpose only. Okay, now we will go in the mesh. So right click on the mesh, click on the edit. Generally in the answers, we can see the Y plus value uh, in this setup after the simulation. But uh, if you want to set a uh, Y plus value, okay. Uh, during the meshing, uh, you can use the external uh, in the uh, in the net, internet. Uh, there are lots of uh, many websites available. You can uh, just search the Y plus value calculator. So you will get the many links. So you can use that to calculate the Y plus value. Okay. So first we we will see the default means. Okay. Now as per the requirement, you can uh, apply the number of divisions here and doing the sizing. And in the geometry, see that the H in the on the circle. Click on the apply and the number of divisions and the numbers 100. Okay. Okay. So we got the number divisions here. Now, how we can set the y plus value? Okay. For that, we are using the external link okay now uh, whenever we do the simulation we have a uh, our quick we are uh, we should know about our quick pre processing right we we know that uh, we should know that the, what is the inlet velocity viscosity density of the fluid everything so uh, i will paste this uh, link website website link there are multiple websites are there okay so you can use that so here to calculate the first layer thickness okay to cal calculate the first layer thickness, you can use this. Now, for different turbulence models like KOMEDA, SSV, T Epsilon, SPARA, Atomaras, for them, uh, there are different Y plus values are there. Okay, So, Y plus values are to, uh, for is used, uh, we need to set a perfect Y plus value to capture the perfect flow okay, in every simulation. So, we know that uh, for uh, KOMEDA CS rate transport turbulence model, the y plus value should be less than one or less than one, right? One or less than one. So, uh, as per the requirement or uh, as per your condition, you need to set the distance velocity, density of the fluid, dynamic viscosity of the fluid, and the characteristic length. The characteristic length. Okay. So, here one example is also given. If you uh, doing the flow over simulation, 
you need to the character in your character is the length length will be the uh, diameter of the circle okay so we set a uh, you see that in your geometry you set as one okay so uh, for example we are we are doing so as for the uh, your your condition you can change the values and one option is there also desire y plus dimension desire y plus okay which is dimension this number how much uh, y plus value you want okay so based on the turbulence model uh, or based on the requirement this y plus value will, this will be different okay now this is a default okay default i not uh, change anything so uh, we can see that automatically they will calculate and show that okay see if suppose i am changing the free spin velocity to 50 now see your first cell okay see automatically change it. so when you will click your uh, enter your values you will get the your first first cell height which is very important in every simulation okay and if we set the first cell height in our simulation so our y plus value will be one okay so if you want to uh, increase the y plus value okay like suppose you are reduced to 30 so your distance will be reduced see increase distance increase now suppose i'm putting this 100 see distance uh, will increase okay now uh, we are taking as one only so you can copy this value okay you can copy this value now how this value we can uh, we are using how we are setting the first cell height in the Hansi's fluid machine. So just see here. Now this is our geometry, okay? Our uh, diameter is one. So now right click on the mesh, go in the insert, and go into inflection. So in the, in, in the inflection section, we can set the first fluid thickness, okay? So in the inflection, we need to define the geometry as we can get. Now in the uh, also in the boundary, select the circle. Uh, for this unit, okay. We need to select the boundary. Now, in the inspection option, we need to change uh, to first layer thickness from this transition, okay. So click on the first layer thickness and the first layer height. See, first layer in the first layer height, we need to enter this value first cell, okay. So you can uh, copy from here and in the first layer, right, you can paste this, okay? Then paste here. Then the maximum layer, uh, as for your domain size, you can change, okay? So I'm keeping as 100. Now, let's see. It's 50. Okay. So, because of the high number of, uh, because of the high number of maximum layers, uh, the error is shown. Okay. Now I set it as 50. So we can see here, see near the boundary of the circle. Okay. So uh, here we define the uh, growth rate. Okay. You can also uh, reduce and increase the maximum number of layers. Okay. After the simulation, you can check the y plus value in the setup. Okay, in the in the setup after the simulation, we need to go in the turbulence and uh, in the turbulence one option is the y plus. Okay, so you can check the y plus value also. So like this, we can set the y our desired uh, y plus value okay, by using the external link. Okay, there are multiple links are there. I will also post this in the description box. Okay, and there are multiple options are there also uh, based on the your flow is laminar or turbulent, or if you are doing the flow uh, flow or something or inside the duct also internal or external simulation you can set okay so different settings are also there so you can check uh, check this okay so uh, hope guys this video is uh, useful for you thank you for watching.